Pastor Benny Hinn is celebrating 40 years of ministry, taking the gospel to the nations of the world. Look to our precious Jesus today who saves, heals, delivers, prospers, and blesses. This is your day for a miracle. If I was to tell you that in the next few days that your children would be saved, would that interest you? If I was to tell you that the most historic time is about to happen in the next few days and to change your whole financial circumstances, would you be interested? If I was to tell you that everything you have lost, things that have happened, health, family, relationships, time, <laughs> if I was to tell you that in the next few days that's all going to be restored to you, would you be interested? Then... Let's talk. I'm on This Is Your Day with Pastor Benny Hinn, and he wanted me to come and tell you exactly what I mean by in the next few days why I believe your children are about to get saved. Now, I'm talking to grandparents and talking to you who have been very concerned about your children. I have some great and exciting prophetic, scriptural, and facts and news that in the next few days, there's a new season that is coming upon us. I'm talking to someone. You have been struggling with your health. You're looking today. You, in fact, uh, made it your business to say, I must watch. This is your day with Pastor Benny Hinn. You didn't know that I was going to be on. And so I come as, as invitation of Pastor Hinn as he has expressed to say, Steve, the Lord is speaking to you. Why are you saying that in the next few days, God is definitely going to heal the person that is watching? This is your day today. Now, you may be a partner or you may be a visitor. Or you may be channel surfing. And you may be saying, what's going on? Because what you have just said has perked my hearing. Because you said something about finance is going to be changed. You said something about the things that were lost, they were going to be regained. Now let's get to biblically, seasonally, what is getting ready to happen in the next few days. Now remember what I've said. What is going to happen to you? And I'm just talking to you. You and I are in strong conversation and content is about to be consumed, I believe, by you. And that is, in September of 2015, there are some dates, there are some things biblically that tells us what is about to happen. And I mentioned a couple of things. I, I mentioned children, I mentioned uh, finances, I mentioned, I mentioned relationships, I, I mentioned things in which you have sparked an interest and you're staring at the television set and I'm staring directly at you and this is a moment from God. Usually Pastor Hinn is here, but God has arranged this schedule by the invitation of Pastor Hinn, and I believe God himself, to say, this is the time in which you're to talk directly to the person who is watching you. In September, there is going to be a day called atonement. The exact date is the eve of the 24th of September, 2015. Now, that always happens in the fall atonement, or we could say the Feast of Tabernacles. There are three things that are going to happen. Now, remember I'm talking, all of this is focused and is the timing and is the new season in which, because you're hearing it, God is getting ready to touch your children. He's getting ready to touch your finances. He's getting ready to touch your health. In, on September 24th, it will be the Day of Atonement. Not only on September 24th, which is the Day of Atonement, which, by the way, let me just talk about that for a moment. Did you know that's the sixth day in which God celebrated creating man? In fact, on the 24th is the sixth day of the seven days of the birthday of the earth. So we could also say that on the 24th of September is the Day of Atonement, but it is also the birthday of the earth. It is the sixth day of the birthday of the earth. On the Day of Atonement 
It is very factual. Out of the 66 books, 780 some thousand King James Version words that, that atonement is the day in which God makes decisions about the earth and decisions about mankind. It was on that day, let me just tell you about the Day of Atonement, a couple things about the Day of Atonement. On the Day of Atonement, God shut the door of the ark. On the Day of Atonement, God made man on the sixth day. It's going to be a very, very important day. Now, what does that have to do with you? Because I told you that a new season, in a few days, God's getting ready to do something with your children. Something's going to happen to your children. Your, your children who are not saved, God is specifically going to focus in on the one that believes in the atonement. Not just everybody, but those, especially you, you're watching, your faith, your connection with what's going on today is, is the one God is going to touch your children. He's also going to touch your finances. He's also going to touch relationships, your body. There's going to be restoration, restoration in which whatever you have lost, whatever has been stolen from you, that day the decision will be made. And then on the day of atonement, if you, you, and it has to be you because you and I are connecting today. This is Pastor Benny Hinn's, this is your day, but I am, I am in this role and I believe it's a God moment with the invitation of Pastor Hinn. For me to talk directly to you, to tell you, mm, I'm pausing, excuse my pause. The only reason why I'm pausing is because I feel the Holy Spirit. I know you are there. I, I know. I know I'm staring at you. You're staring at me. And I, I, I almost want to describe who you are because God's getting ready. God's getting ready to restore what you have lost. Now, on the 24th of September is the Day of Atonement. Eight days, eight days after that, it is a time of celebration. God will release it in the next eight days on the 24th. Now, the 24th, 10 days backwards, on the 14th of September, is Rosh Hashanah. It's the beginning of a new year. It's 10 days of repentance, 10 days of repentance. And then God does seven things. I wrote a book called Seven Blessings of Atonement, and there are seven things that are going to happen. On the Day of Atonement, for those that hear about it. It won't happen to everybody. It won't happen just at random upon the earth. But God will specifically speak like He's doing through me, right on this television set that you're watching, and has put you in front of it because your ear has been attracted and your sight upon the television set is glued in because the content you are grasping because of what I said that your children, your money, your health, there is a restoration It's getting ready to happen. And you are tuned in today because God is saying, get ready, in a few days this is all going to take place. Now God has always had a day of atonement, every year it happens. But let me tell you what's getting ready to happen historically to the planet earth. Let me just tell you the most exciting thing that you and I have ever, ever witnessed. I believe, in this generation. On the 24th of September, not only will there be the Day of Atonement, the Feast of Tabernacles, which is on the Hebrew calendar, the beginning of a new year on the Hebrew calendar. You must understand that, that the Bible's calendar and our calendar, which is a Gregorian calendar, is not the same. So actually, God starts a brand new year, a brand new year, on September 24th, or really on Rosh Hashanah, 10 days before, which is the 14th of September. Listen to what's getting ready to happen. Not only is there going to be an atonement, a new season, seven blessings, and I'm going to tell you about the seven blessings in just a moment, but God is getting ready, or we're getting ready, after counting the years of entering into Jubilee. Now, Jubilee happens every 50 years. Oh, this is real exciting. It will be 40 years, 40 years that, or I should say this will be the 40th Jubilee, excuse me, the 40th Jubilee since Jesus Christ was upon the earth. And remember Jesus started His ministry on the year of Jubilee. 
it will be 70 jubilees, 70 jubilees ago, counting this one. This one will be 70, the 70 the jubilee on September 24th. And it was 70 jubilees ago that Israel entered into the promised land. Now, what is jubilee? Jubilee happens every 50 years. God says every 50 years, if you have, if you have sold the land to somebody, they're going to give it back to you to its rightful owner. If you have become a slave to someone because you become poor and you were enslaved to them and you had to borrow against yourself to say, I will work for you, you will be set free. What does that have to do you, you and I? Spiritually, whatever you've been in a, enslaved to, whether it's sickness, poverty, whether it's been a bad relationship, whatever it's been, this September 24th, the spirit of Jubilee will come upon you and your broken heart will be healed and your spirit, your spirit will be set free and habits and situations, even sickness, will have to go. Your inheritance is going to come back to you. That's number two what's going to happen. Number three, there is a blood moon. On the 28th of September, following up on the 24th of September, will be the fourth blood moon that we have had in two years that have landed on God's holy days. Let's talk about the holy days. Remember, I'm talking to you, and in just a moment, I'm going to give you the seven blessings. I'm then going to pray and release the new season in your life. I'm talking to people who want their children saved. I'm talking to you that need money or you're believing for inheritance or you want great wealth or you want to get out of debt. This is all going to happen September, all going to happen September 24th, the Day of Atonement, 2015. If you're sick, something incredible is going to happen to your health. Whatever you have lost, whatever you have lost is going to be restored. Three days after the 24th, or I should say uh, four days after the 24th, there's going to be a blood moon. Now, the blood moon is a sign in which God is trying to speak to us. And He tells us, I will speak to you through the sky. This is the fourth blood moon that has happened on the feast days. You must remember there are three important days to God in the Bible. Three days. One is Passover, when Jesus died. Number two, Pentecost, when the church started in the upper room. Number three, the Day of Atonement or the Feast of Tabernacles. Now let me just tell you, let me just tell you and clearly explain that Passover started some 1800 years before Jesus came. That's when Israel put blood on the doorpost and the death angel came by and saw the blood on the doorpost and passed over. That's the reason why we call it Passover. God said, I want that to be honored every single year. Now, what is interesting, 1,800 years later, Jesus, Jesus comes on the scene. Jesus dies exactly on the day of Passover. Think about that. Not a week before, not a year before, not six months before, exactly on the day of Passover. Because God said, three days of the year are very important to me. And God said, they're, not, they're my days. They're not the Jews' days, and thank God for the Jews. I love the Jews. They have kept these holy days probably much better than the Christians. But God said, these are my days. It's my birthday. It's my anniversary. And God said, these three days I want you to remember. They're my days. Jews, Gentiles, anybody that will remember them, I will then give them the blessings because they remember them. Now, Jesus died exactly on the day of Passover, okay? Fifty days later was Pentecost. You remember when Moses, or you have heard the story of Moses, all the people came out of Egypt, went into the promised land? The Bible says, the Bible says that, that, that 50 days later, Moses was called up after the blood was on the doorpost, Passover. Fifty days later, which actually means Pentecost. Pentecost is not a denomination. Pentecost is not people who speak in tongues and raise their hands, although they did speak in tongues on the day of Pentecost. And, 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 and people are identified as Pentecostals because of what happened on the day of Pentecost. So they are branded as Pentecostals because they did the same thing that happened on the day of Pentecost. But Pentecost is, is a feast day. It's not a denomination. It's, it means 50, 50 days after Passover. God established His church just as Moses was called up to the mountain and was given the commandments 50 days later after they came out 
of Egypt. Now, those two days have been fulfilled. Jesus died at Passover. The church has been established in the second chapter of Acts on the day of Pentecost. Now, this is what's very, very important for you to understand. Because in the next few moments, I'm going to release the new season upon you. I don't have long now, so I, gotta, I, do, I have to do this quickly. There's only been one feast day that has not been memorialized or fulfilled. That's the feast day of atonement, the blowing of the trumpets. This is the time when Rosh Hashanah, which is 10 days of repentance, the day of atonement, and then the Feast of Tabernacles for eight days of rejoicing. This is the one that has not been memorialized. This is the rapture of the church. Now, I cannot tell you that the rapture of the church is going to happen in 2015 during the Day of Atonement on the 24th. I cannot tell you that because I don't know. But if the rapture takes place, I have a high conviction, understanding, being scholastically involved all of my life in the King James Version and other Amplifieds and other study guides and even men of God, that this will be the season of the rapture. This will be the season. Now, I'm not telling you that he's coming back, but I'll tell you what, I would be ready. If I was jumping from an airplane, I would pack my parachute. I wouldn't just let anybody else pack it. If I was jumping from an airplane, airplane I would make sure I was ready. This is a season that Jesus definitely could come back. It's jubilee. Let me tell you something else that's going to happen. We are entering a seven good years. I personally believe that the covenant that God made with Joseph, seven bad years, seven good years, and the dream that Joseph told Pharaoh has never left the covenant that God has made with the earth. We have just come out of a bad seven years. I'm talking to you, your children. I'm talking to you, your, your, your money. I'm talking to you, your health. We have just come out of the worst seven years. On September 21st, 4th, there will be a beginning of a new seven years. There will be jubilee. God is trying to say something with us in the fourth blood moon that will be fulfilled in this season. This is going to be a historic moment. In the book of Joel, the Bible tells us what's going to happen. And I'm going to run through these seven, and then I'm going to release in just a few minutes the new season upon you. I'm glad you're tuning in. I'm glad Benny Hinn has allowed me to sit in this chair to give you this prophetic utterance and truth. Here's the seven things that are found in the book of Joel. One, there's going to be a double portion that's going to happen on the 24th. And in other words, there's a double portion that is released. Here's what the Bible says. He has given you the former rain faithfully and he will cause the rain to come down for you, the former rain and the latter rain in the first month. The first month on the Jewish calendar will happen on the 14th of September, 2015. That is the first month. The double portion immediately strikes upon that time. Number two, there will be a financial blessing. The threshing floor shall be full of wheat and the vats shall overflow with new wine. This is all found in the second chapter of Joel. Number three, he says, I will restore to you the, what, what has been taken from you. Number four, Miracles, you shall eat plenty. This is all found in Joel. This is all going to happen on the 24th of September. Number five, there is a divine presence of God like you have not felt all year long. Number six, there's a blessing on your family. Upon your sons and daughters, the Spirit will be poured out. They will prophesy. They will dream dreams. They will see visions. Number seven, there will be a deliverance. Now listen closely to me. Listen closely to me. Job lost everything that he had. He lost his 3,000 camels, 7,000 sheep. He lost everything that he had, including his seven sons and three daughters. It was the day of atonement that he did something that changed, and he got everything back double. I'm talking to you, and you say, what do I do? Do I just hear it? Do I just wait for it? God has given special instruction, and this is what he has said. In order for me to give you the seven blessings of the atonement, which is found in Joel and other passages. He says, you must come and stand before me. Now, there are times in which God says, you must pray. God, must, God says, you must, you must get baptized. God says, you must read the word. God says, you must sing. But here's what God specifically said. Three times a year, these are my days. They're my feast. Here's what God said in Deuteronomy 16, 16. Do not stand empty-handed. When you put in your right hand and your left hand, 
an offering. And you say, God, and you specifically say, this is the atonement offering released upon you on the 24th of September. This year is the double portion. I'm talking to somebody that the moment that you do this, and here is my expectation, is that you do not even wait to the 24th. You must do it now. It must be on the altar. The fire must be consuming it. Pastor Benny Hinn has built an altar. It will come to the altars and will be consumed by prayer and by the fires of God and by belief that God is getting ready to heal you of cancer. God is getting ready to heal you of high blood pressure. Whatever is in your body, you are getting ready to be healed. Your children are going to turn around. God's about to break habits, and there is an inheritance of money like you have never witnessed. When Job gave the offering, when you become scholastic and study it strongly, you will find it was in the season of atonement. It was in the season in which God, Job laid the offering on the altar, and the Bible said he got back double everything that the devil stole from him. Oh, I'm feeling, I'm feeling strong because I sense you watching me. I'm, I'm talking to you because you have been really desiring to get out of debt. There is a great thing that you have, you, you, you have experienced in saying, I believe something great's about to happen to my finances, my business, my life, my health, my children, my relationships. I'm talking to you. The reason why I'm talking to you is God put you on purpose to watch this broadcast simply because there was a desire, whether it was by channel surfing, whether it was on purpose, you expected Pastor Benny Hinn. But by his invitation, and by God's direction, at you and I meeting, God is speaking through me to tell you, you're about to get it all back. What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I hear you say, I, I want to do it. Do I pray? Do, do you pray? Do you release it? This is what must be done. I can't change the rules. I can't change God's mind. There's no compromise. This is the only way. He said, I want you to stand before me on this day and give me the Feast of Tabernacles Day of Atonement offering. I want you to put it in your hands and I want you to stand before me and give me the offering. Something you have never done out of the other two or three of the year or every week or whatever you have given to God or partnered with, this is is an offering above all offerings. And ladies and gentlemen, it's the beginning of Jubilee. It's the Day of Atonement. It's the fourth blood moon of the four that have landed on the feast days of God. It is the beginning of a new seven years. If I have ever, ever, ever spoke to anyone, I speak to you today and tell you this is a powerful, historic moment on planet earth. In the name of Jesus, if you have ever done anything, I'm talking to you. I, I feel you say, well, what do I give? What do I do? I sense, I sense 300. 300 is a very powerful number in the Bible. When God said, I'll take 300 men, Gideon, and I will conquer the nations. Three days I will be in the earth and I will come out. I could talk about threes, 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 but I sense strongly that you are to say, here is 150 in this hand and 150 in this hand, for he said, do not stand empty-handed. And I sense in my spirit that you go to the website, that you go right now to the phone, but you can get on the computer and say, this is my atonement offering, Pastor Hen, lay it up on the altar. I'm talking to a businessman, $3,000. I sense it very strong. It's going to change your situation out. You're not going to be a millionaire. You're going to be a billionaire. I sense that that sickness is going to, by October of this year, will be completely vanished. You say, I can't, I can't do that. I can't do that. I would love to do that. I would love to do that. Let me tell you what you get on the phone. You get your credit card. You get in a position to write a check. You do what you've got to do. 
whether it's 150, whether it's whatever it is, you must move now. I have about 60 seconds to release this upon you, but let me tell you, you must do this now. It must come in, lay up on the altar. I am almost with expectancy wanting to shout to say, you must do this. You can go to the website with Benny Hinn Ministries. It'll be on the screen. You can dial the number at this moment. You can grab your credit card and say, I'm going to give half this week and half next week. You must say, Lord, this is the greatest hour and the greatest movement. I'm going to give $300. In the name of Jesus, I pray right now, Lord, it is not an accident that they that are watching me, you that are watching me, have heard this word. In the name of Jesus, oh wow, you better get ready. There is a new season. What you have lost is getting ready to be gained back to you, your children, the sickness is going away. Go to the phone, go to the website and say, I am going to stand before the Lord with the atonement offering. God bless you and have an incredible new season. Steve Muncy's important book, Seven Blessings of the Atonement, provides significant details of the specific supernatural atonement blessings promised in Joel 2 for those who will observe this day with an offering as God commanded. The blessings include a double portion, financial abundance, restoration, miracles, God's divine presence, blessings upon your family, and deliverance. When you obey and honor God by sending your atonement offering of $300 or the amount He lays on your heart, be sure to request your copy of Seven Blessings of the Atonement. Call, write, or send your gift online today. On Monday, September 28th, Pastor Benny Hinn will conduct a powerful atonement season prayer service. He'll be joined by anointed intercessors to agree with you for the blessings of the atonement to come upon you and your family during this year of Jubilee. Make sure to send in your prayer request for this very special day of prayer, September 28th. Listen, that is the day of atonement season because the day of atonement starts just before that. And I want to pray with you. Believe God that this coming season is going to be awesome for you. Please send that prayer request. I'm going to have people here, a lot of anointed people who are going to be praying with me for you. And we're going to lay our hands on your prayer requests and anoint those prayer requests with oil that God will really meet your needs. Do it today. And believe God for miracles in your life. So send it in, Post Office Box 16, 2000, Irving, Texas. And yes, so a seed with it that God will bless you and prosper your life, but send in that prayer request. Every need, any need, just write it and send it in and God will answer your prayer. That's His promise. If you'll ask, you will receive in Jesus' name. September 28th is just a few days away, so mail your prayer requests quickly and believe God to release the blessings of the atonement on you and your family. 